Hi everyone, I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video around LLM framework, but here I am again. Today I'm going to show you um, one of the most interesting and easiest to miss features of LLM framework template with a, which I built with Langchain around a year ago. And it's the capability to um, provide a YouTube video or URL as an input and interact with it ask questions and get answers from it. That said, let me walk you through first of an example of how it works by using the chat mode deployed in your Pad Assistant. And then I will walk you through end to end how to um, make sure the API server is running and uh, creating the project from the template and then um, how you can run and test this. Um, in the LLM framework. So this is the chat mode and it uses a retrieval augmented generation to ingest knowledge sources whether it's from CSV file, um, uh, Word document, PDF, so these are the document types that are supported and I'll now I'll show you the YouTube videos. Um, so let's use this YouTube video as an example. So I just need to provide the URL. So what it does is the, the API backend ingests the video transcript and create embeddings and pushes into the vector store. That vector store you can interact with the custom activities that is in the framework. And then that lets you ask, uh, Q, do Q&A with these videos. Ask anything about the source that you would that you'd like. So it answers based on the context of the source that you provided. It also has built-in memory. So everything in this chat se session, um, you can remember as if talking to a human or agent, like so. This can be also useful if you're studying a specific topic, let's say this video about land graph which probably I don't have time to watch the whole full length so I can use this to um, create a summary or ask anything about this uh, this topic that, um, that we have so again let's ingest it into the vector database and then I can ask so Langraph is um, a framework that is used to create multi-agent systems in a more structured um, or graphical manner. We can ask how does how is Langraph used to create multi-agent systems? What are what does Nodes and edges represents There you go So this is how you can use LLM framework in chat mode and interact with YouTube video URL So everything you need to know about the LLM framework for UiPath Studio is in this UiPath Marketplace link which I will link below in the video and just a quick overview on what this LLM framework is so it is essentially a, a template in Studio that you can use for LLM infused use cases that you have that um, can fall under three categories right so one is the one just that I just showed, conversational, chat-based, context-aware, 
um, conversations or personal assistance so you can chat with your documents or URLs or just like uh, YouTube videos or transactional uh, like RE framework uh, type of workflows where you have the um, transactions in the queue it can be documents again or, or, or URL um, or you can uh, involve human in the loop as well so that is part of the framework so, in LLM framework, it has two main components. One is the studio template that I mentioned, which is the uh, framework, essentially. And the other one is the custom activities that are automatically downloaded as part of the framework, which uses Langchain API in the back end. Right? So, I built an API that you can deploy on your own API servers via Docker. So um, that is the API backend that's being used by the custom activities, which I will uh, show you how you can set up. Now, let's start. So I'll open UiPath Studio. So you can create the project um, with LLM framework from UiPath Studio. So you can access it by the marketplace templates you can search for LLM. And then this will show the LLM framework template which you can start creating the project with. You can name your project any name you want. So now you're done with the first step. So this is how the LLM framework template looks like. And as mentioned, I have a separate video that I can link in the description below that will give a quick overview of how the overall LLM framework works. Um, so do watch that video if you want to get more detail about this. I mentioned earlier, so this comes with custom activities um, that you can see here that interacts with the API uh, server. So these are the custom activities that the LLM framework uses. Next step is to configure the Pinecone API keys and the LLM API keys that you have that will be used by the framework. So on the project folder, there's a config file where you can put the Pinecone um, and um, OpenAI um, API keys. So these are the things that you need to run this um, um, uh, LLM framework. So first is Pinecone API key and then OpenAI API, API key right here. So for Pinecone, we just need to create a, an account, of course, and then a project, which I created right here. For the index, it supports pods or starter indexes so unfortunately for free plan of pinecone it only has serverless but serverless is not supported currently by the by the api um, by the custom api um, that, that we have so you have to have at least a standard plan um, to uh, instantiate um, index with pods um, just like so so let me select any of this you can use this one and I'll just name the index
index API uses this embeddings um, model from OpenAI so you can just select this to set the configuration and then go ahead and create the index so what you need is of course the API key right here you can just copy here and then paste here and then you also need the environment so this can be a specific environment if you selected a pod or GCP, GCP dash starter if you select the starter plan uh, the, the starter um, environment index name will be knowledge base which I named as such here or you can name it any name that you want and then for the OpenAI API key so this is for the embeddings generation so of course you can get this from your API uh, from your OpenAI subscription And then same API key for your LLM. Okay. Then you can choose the model that you, you would like to interact with. It can be the GPT for all or uh, the, the lower um, version of the model, GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's up depending on what your API uh, project API key in OpenAI supports. So now that's done, now that you set up the configurations for the vector database keys and LLM keys, you can go ahead and um, start using the template. So we'll use this sample implementation of chat mode, but there are also other implementations here. Um, that um, you can simulate for transaction mode or just a simple sequence. So again, the, the, the video is in the description for the on how you can use this framework um, if you want to use it in transaction mode or other ways. So, but before we start with the chat mode, make sure that your Docker um, uh, the, the API backend is running so as you can see it's running right here and I have a separate video on how you can pull this uh, docker image and be able to run this docker image for the API backend that the custom activities that uh, we will we'll interact with And that's it. You can now use LLM framework template in chat mode and interact with your YouTube video URLs. Let's test it. This video. And there you go. This is how you can use LLM framework in chat mode to interact with any sources. In this case, an example would be YouTube video URL um, and do um, question and answer with it or summarize the video that you want to 
interact. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Watch out for more tech and anything about automation, tips about um, UiPath. So, see you again soon. Bye-bye.